what do y'all remember about this team and going into the season? Did you have any idea how special it could be? And I'll kind of open up to everyone and anybody that kind of has some memories about this team. Yeah, it was really, it was a hard year for me um, because obviously I was so looking forward to, um, you know, going back into the team. I knew we had a great team and then I got injured at the U S amateur and unfortunately I had to decide to have surgery. So um, it was a challenging and frustrating semester for me, but um, I was really excited to go back and play in the spring. So um, that's what I remember. I remember that even though I had all this time in the world, my time management went down the drain and I didn't know what to do with myself with all the time that I had um, and um, try to cheer the team on as much as I could, but I was just really focusing on getting better. I do remember when you came back to school and I was just like, I stepped in the hole, guys. I stepped in the hole. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> like, what? I stepped yeah. in the hole. Yeah. I played 11 holes with a broken ankle. I the hole. Which was a bad idea. Dan, what kind of memories do you have about this team and going into the season? Do you, do you remember well, much about it? I remember Candy telling me she stepped in a hole. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely remember that. I was like, what? How does that happen? Why would you do that? Anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I just remember from a coach's viewpoint, you know, when you have a player like Candy that's out of the lineup, uh, you're going to remember that. So. Uh, but the fall doesn't stand out. The spring does. Um, but the fall, you know, we had a nice win. I think Inga won at the, at the Tar Heel. That was great. Um, and remember that tournament. Always remember playing Getty's View. Um, and Maria. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Maria played some good golf um, in the fall. She had some good rounds. And, uh, but, that, but the fall really isn't, I, I, don't, I don't remember it all that well. Moving on to the spring, um, in the spring, everybody was healthy uh, and it was pretty impressive spring. Um, played seven tournaments and won all seven of them. Um, in fact, the only Duke team in school history to win all seven, every single tournament in the spring. Um, and what was pretty cool about this team too is had five different players that won at least one tournament. Uh, so it just kind of show, showed what kind of depth this team had. Um, and then ended up going to uh, back to Seattle, Washington, and, of course, had a very uh, very fun and uh, um, dramatic kind of uh, NCAA championship as well. Um, do you do all remember much about that tournament? I just remember that I was really excited to come back and play and – um, obviously a lot of unknowns, um, but, you know, didn't know how I was going to perform at all. But um, I was just really excited to come back and, and play with the team and kind of be, I missed it so much. I missed our trips. Um, I missed the camaraderie out there. I just felt like, you know, my fall year just, what they were like, there was, there was obviously something missing. Like I just didn't, I wasn't part of what I loved so much about being at Duke, which was being with my teammates. So I was really excited about it. I remember just all of us um, having a lot of success. And I think we, we were all so close and I think we pushed each other. Um, that stat about five different winners, I think is pretty cool. And I think we would all be excited for whoever won the, the tournament, but it like elevated our game. And I remember going into nationals where it was like everybody had won and it was like, well, who's going to win this one? And it was Uwe that won the individual title. But I, I think that because we were such a close team, like Candy's saying, we all kind of were happy for each other and we brought out the best in each other and then elevated our games. And I, I remember that in the spring for sure. I'll never forget Candy making a birdie on 17. 17. Yeah, you were in front of me, Candy. And Coach and Coach Widener, what I always loved about playing for them is they were very like in tune with what was going on, but they were never in your face. And I just remember being on the 17th tee, it was a par five, and it was like water kind of weeping in and out. And a lot of people could knock it on it too. And I remember all these, like the Texas coach came over, the Arizona coach, and they're like, I need you to make a birdie here. You know, they're like pressuring their players. And I remember just looking over at Coach and he's like, what's going on, Leanne? 
<laughs> and I was like, hey, coach, I'm good. Was he and, eating a uh, snack? <laughs> like, no, it wasn't snacks at that time. <laughs> but, uh, I was probably was thinking like, about it, Uey. I was thinking, yeah. I got to get, you know, tents coming soon. He was probably like, maybe, does Leanne have a snack in her bag I could get? No. Uh, <laughs> and you probably did. You probably did. <laughs> I probably did with a dozen golf balls and rollers yeah, and everything more. else. Um, but I just remember looking over and like Coach Widener was always so calm. And like when you're, at, you know, out there at a pretty crucial moment, it was nice to see your coaches just like, we got this, we're good. You know, and I think that that helps keep me calm. And then seeing Candy make the birdie on 17 and like give it a little fist pump, I – that helped me just kind of finish strong. And I was like, yeah, you know, and I, I think I went birdie par, maybe just par par, but I knew it was really close and it was nice to have kind of all those images, you know, on the golf course, you're kind of isolated, but it was nice to see Candy make that birdie. And then our coaches were just there super calm. And um, it was just a good feeling knowing that, hey, just be who you are and, and we're going to win is what I felt. But I do remember the, the, the win that we had in Washington, that it was a total, total team effort, I must say, because I, I mean, coach would, re would remember this well. If, if I was playing an individual race by myself, I would have lost that. But the thought of having my teammates, the thought of I would never, ever let my teammates down just kept me through, kept me, kept me in the competition. And Coach will remember I went to your room the night before and they, <laughs> telling you how nervous I was and how I was going to go up against Lorena. And, and, but the thought of my teammates, you know, the, those were the thoughts that kept me um, fighting, kept me in the game. And I was glad to, to be able to do what I did for, for you guys, for Coach and for everybody. Yeah, that was, uh, that was quite a meeting. <laughs> Coach, I'm going to be out there and all those people are going to be there watching Lorena. And I, I'm like, boy, they're going to be there watching you. <laughs> and, uh, it was really interesting how she, it was going to, it was going to be all these people watching Lorena play. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they were, they were there to watch you and you, but, but the whole time I was playing the, the last, the final round, I remember thinking of my, of Candy, Inga, Nilu, Leanne, and Coach, Coach Weidner. I was, I was thinking of you guys and thank you for, for being there. <laughs> it was an amazing yeah. um, team we had. I mean, from all over the world, so many different cultures, so many different personalities, but somehow we clicked and we had so much fun. I mean, all four years were great teams, but, but this team was amazing. I mean, so much fun. Every tournament we went to, we were all so good, but we had, we were best friends, which is amazing. Yeah, I do remember that. I felt like even though we had, you know, every, every different nation, I mean, nobody was from the same country. So we had tons of different nationalities and but we all got along so well i felt like it was a like you know some other like m m most of the teams at duke we were incredibly competitive and incredibly um respectful of each other and really tight friends but i do think this team we were really really close how close was it guys like coaches you guys probably remember but like on 15 where we did we have a one-shot lead I mean, back no. then you didn't have live stats, so it was hard. No, to we know. weren't. I we didn't, but I I felt like we had already made up a little bit. Something had happened, Jason. Maybe you remember better, but it seemed like something had already happened by the time you and I were standing on fifteen that was positive for us. Do you remember? I that? just remember that that it was um, you could really feel the momentum switch, and you could feel the confidence and the. Um, calm of our team and you just suddenly it just felt like we were going to win and, yeah. and, and, yeah, and you I guys did that. it yeah yeah so, but I felt but like it, it felt like that the whole spring even though I don't remember exactly the events I felt like we felt even when we came from behind we felt incredibly calm and incredibly confident on each other's ability like I think that's what really pulled us through because we knew that we really felt that 
want, somebody's going to pull through, somebody's going to do something. And so nobody really felt pressure that they had to do it because they were just so confident that the other one was going to deliver if you, if you weren't able to. So um, I felt like that was just like, we really pushed each other and we really gave each other confidence because we knew uh, that, that somebody was going to deliver. And you did deliver candy with a 68. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I had to go out in style. <laughs> I didn't contribute much, but I had to go out in style. So That's we, awesome. won. we actually went won by a few shots, which was pretty, we, we were fought, trailing for three mm -hmm. days and then we ended up winning by I think our I think our fifth score would have still won it for us. I don't know. I forgot. And then when I went into the um, locker room last year, you have our our scoreboard up there, so it was kind of cool. Do you have that handy, Lindy, or like yeah. the scores? I just remember seeing it. I was like, oh wow, we we really surged. And I remember Candy like went low the last day. Ooh, I see. Candy shot sixty-eight. Uh, Uwe and Leanne seventy-two. Uh, Nilo 75 and Christina 77. That was a good round. Yeah. That was a tough course. It was. There was a lot of trouble, like every hole. Yeah. A ton of bunkers, a ton of trouble, tall grass. Like it was a really hard golf course. I remember that. Like every hole, I felt like if you were not hitting it straight, if, if you're not driving the ball well, that golf course was really, really hard. And it was, it was a lot of placement, a lot of strategy that went into it. So I think that played to our advantage at the, on the last day, because I felt like our team was really good at that. Uh, now for me, I really remember that, you know, if I look now at the, at the kids being 18, 19 years old, you know, and uh, or even if my, I'm thinking if my kids will have to say, yeah, I'm going to America when I'm 19. You know how a little bit of scary it is just to be alone. And I, when I think back, I just never had that feeling of like being alone or being scared. I was really, you know, from the first day part of a family. I remember also with, um, of course, Maria and uh, and everyone gave me such a, a warm welcome. And I think that it's just really amazing, you know, um, because this feeling is really special and I think really rare. Also, if you think about now, you know, if you change jobs, you know, you have a new team, it's always a little, you have a little time, you know, you have kind of to prove yourself, you have to think about, um, you know, uh, also of uh, figuring out people in, 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 in that sense. And, uh, and I had to go through the language barrier a second time because now I'm in a German speaking and uh, it was really rough, Candy, you know, how German is. Yeah. And, uh, and it was just so difficult. And I don't even remember, I remember it's so funny also uh, at Duke, you know, these moments where we have no clue what we're talking about and then Inga <laughs> is trying to help and it's even worse because <laughs> no one understands, you know. I felt like, I felt like one, one characteristic of this, um, team like there were some teams that were extremely competitive and we were competitive and we were really good but i think this team was really kind like the, you know everybody on the team was really welcoming and kind and um so i think that was like a really good um part of this team i felt like it was just people were really kind yeah, I think you did a fantastic job as a senior as well, you know, uh, you really did, yeah. you know, at least for me, it was, uh, you know, you felt responsible also for me. And I think that was really amazing. And, uh, and everyone, you know, was really was focused on that everyone feels good, you know, and we had so much fun and outside the course as well, you know. And I think that was really, uh, I mean, as you said, that just the personalities were a perfect match. Um, I just wanted to bring somebody else in. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Aww. That's so cute. Uh, well done, Inga. That's yeah. such a good picture, too. Wow. Yeah. That's a good I one. Yeah, I was going to actually bring it up, bring her up here shortly. Um, you know, we unfortunately we are without one of these, one of our very important teammates um, from the 2001 Maria Garcia Estrada. And I know we all think about her and she could be here with us today. I do agree. Maria was such a big part of this team and like brought the fun, the funny, the crazy, the advice, the seriousness when we needed it. She was just a very, very cool person. And I think it was a big part of us being so successful that year too. Yeah. 
and I know she, I think she's she struggled a bit with her golf that year, but she was so I think such a good teammate, you know, because mm -hmm. it's hard. Like we were doing well, and her golf wasn't where she wanted it to be at that time. And she was a she was just a great teammate and really always there for every one of us and contributing in however she could. Um, so like as I think back, I I know that must have been like really like a hard year for her in terms of her golf, but you know she always pulled through. She figured out a way to just make it make make it into the positive. So. I remember her calling us because Candy, you guys obviously were really close. We were all really close, but I remember she was with um, one of your friends. I think it was Bob and her the night before nationals. And I just remember her voice. She's like, okay guys, let's bring it home. And um, she was like, Leanne, you're a gamer. You're just going to get it done. Nilu, you're just so awesome. Like she went through each person's like uh, personality and I feel like she nailed it. Like on that night before the call, she's like, Ooh, you're so awesome you're just going to win it all. Like, but I can still hear her voice. And then, and she's like, Hanneman, you know how I feel about you. <laughs> um, but I, I think it was like a nice little pep talk before. I remember hearing, like talking to her the night before when she was back at Duke or back with some friends, but I just remember that. So it's like, you talk about a person having an impact, even though, like you said, it was a hard year. I don't know that I would have been able to do that. I mean, I don't know that many people would have on a team that was having so much success. And I think she was very encouraging, like you said, Candy, and just kind of lifted everybody up always. Well, Dan, look, why don't you look kind of look back at this team? I mean, <clears throat> having five different golfers that could win a tournament, um, such a successful spring. Um, what do you remember most about this team and how powerful it was? Well, it was definitely a uh, united team, you know, like everybody is saying here. And, and that, you know, I've always found that you don't necessarily have to have that on a team for a team to win, but it's a good thing and it can lead to lower scores. I think we have, we're a great example of it. Uh, you know, you're hearing it all right here, but uh, we, <clears throat> there's, there's a momentum. Jason said it. You know, you just have a feeling. Uh, I think it has to do with perspective and being positive and just having a general overall positive view of, of things um, that anything good can happen. You've had enough stuff happen where you're, you sort of know, you have the, a sense that good things can happen. And we, had, we carried that right on into the national championship. We were down three days out of the four and it never went away. It was still there the last day. And that comes from a team that's really tight. I don't think you're gonna have that sort of positive outlook uh, if you're not a really united team that's pulling for each other and sort of, I believe, I believe there is some, there's some way that you're getting energy from one another uh, when you have a team like that. And, and again, it, it's not like you have to have that to win. Uh, got enough talent you can win without that but this team uh you know we were fortunate enough to be able to have that and i think that's really what's cool what really makes it special is that is what won that unity is exactly what won the national championship it won all those tournaments but it was it was the unity the positive the great perspective that's what that's what won it at the end i think and it's amazing to do it with the people you love, right? Yeah. yeah. And, and, and you know, Lindy, I think also one of the things that was very similar that carried um, us, even from the time, like I think it started, I don't know, maybe it started with Jenny being on the team. Like Jenny was just such a good role model to people when she was on the team and really like wanting to experience everything that Duke has to offer and really teaching us how to do that. And I think that has carried on throughout the teams. And I remember this on this team too, that, you know, seniors or juniors were really trying to get, you know, freshmen and sophomores to really take away everything that Duke has to offer and really uh, go out and meet people. So I think that has like that carried on through the all the four years that I was at Duke. And I, th I really think it started with the team like Jenny's team and 
Um, I and agree with that. Out. Yeah, and we have, and and before Jenny, there were there were some. There's always been just unbelievable people on these teams. Yeah. That's tribute to you, Candy, because you recognize that you saw that in Jenny, and then you're our senior, and you've carried it through, and and others have done the same thing. I think that matters so. Much to, you have to have a person that can recognize how special it is. And you have to have a person that decides that I'm going to do my job and carry that through. So that, that it, you know, there has to be a lot of character in there for the, for the tradition to continue. You can break that chain if you don't continue to have those special people on the team. So that's a, a tribute to you, Candy. Oh, thank you, Carlos. But I think yes. it's a tribute to you too, Coach. I mean, you put us together, you know. Um, and without that, you know, we couldn't make it happen. So there's no doubt behind the scenes, coach is so thoughtful about that too. He really cares. And, and I just, I enjoyed watching you, your team. Um, sometimes it felt like from a distance, just watching how easy you guys made hard work, work look. Um, you were so positive and cool all working so hard. It was very, very impressive to watch. That's, that right there is a great statement, Jason. I think that's what probably what great athletes do and great and successful people do. They make hard work look easy. Um, cool. That's really cool. It was fun, too. It was hard work, but it must have been – it was easy and fun with this group. So – Yeah, the group. Um, so but I – like, I, I think the candy said it best. It was the coaches, too, putting us together, knowing our personalities, knowing when to push you, but knowing when to be like – how's it going? <laughs> and just give you some perspective that, hey, we're, we're playing golf here. We're just out here having fun. And I think having the right mix of your, your family, your friends, your teammates, being that family and friends when you're away at college. I mean, that's a tough transition. Like Neela was saying, think about your kids now. I'm like, I wouldn't want to send them away like in 10 years, you know, or five years. And like you guys all went to different countries and just to have your your teammates become your your good friends and family and then having our coaches know and having that perspective of what we needed I think is you know I don't think you guys get enough credit coach Widener and, and coach Brooks because you knew what we needed when we needed it and and I think that really helps too.